What's up guys, CW here today, back with another speculation video. Now I know it's been a while since we did this one, mainly because it's been like, I don't even know how many months because YouTube doesn't update me. Um, yeah, so today we're back with another speculation video as I said earlier, and today we'll be doing this on, as you can already tell from the title, Jurassic Park DLC for Jurassic World Evolution. Let's just get on with the video, not much more to say about this right now. Coming in as number one is Concavenator, aka Coiner Hunter for Hump. Now, Coina is a town in Ecuador. I've already recorded this video once, so that's why I know. I looked it up. But yeah, I guess that's where it was found nearby. But CW, Ecuador is a South American country while Concavenator was found in Spain. <laughs> but anyways, it was an early Cretaceous Cocorodontosaurid that lived around 130 million years ago in Spain. It was found in the Las Hoyas dig site in Spain. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know why I put Spain at the end of the sentences. Sentences, Jesus. Concavenator could reach lengths of up to 6 meters, but what makes Concavenator stand out is its unusual hump on its back. This dinosaur made its first appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where it can be seen as a background statue in the Lockwood Manor, which is one of the Lockwood's li wishlist dinosaurs, that's what the website said, not sure if it's true, but if added this dinosaur could expand our Cocodontosaurids, which seem to be mainly focused on large carnivores, which is actually true because Acrocanthosaurus is one, uh, Giganotosaurus is another Cocodontosaurid, sword and then cocoid onto sword so we got three large ones but no medium anyways coming in at number two is concom signathus our favorite little terrible small tail in the jurassic franchise also known as elegant jaw it was a part of Compsognathiidae family and was found in jurassic europe around 150 million years ago Compsognathus was found in two separate dig sites one was found in germany in the 1850s and another in France in the 1970s. It could reach about the size of a turkey and mostly played on small lizards. Compsognathus has made multiple appearances in the Jurassic franchise. I have high hopes for Compsognathus for that it will be added due to the fact of um, Homalocephalo being added, which is currently the smallest dinosaur in Jurassic World Evolution. So if they just did like a counterpart for that, which is Compsognathus, it would be fine. I mean, it doesn't really need to be that small, it just has to be the size of Homalocephalo. Anyways, coming in third is the Danger Floof, also known as Thaosinosaurus, and God did I butcher the spelling on that one. Holy <laughs> man. Anyways, aka the Scythe Lizard, it is a part of the Thaosinosaurid family, and it was found in late Cretaceous Asia around 70 million years ago. This floofy monster was found in Mongolia and was originally thought to be a turtle-like reptile. It could reach lengths of up to 10 meters, while its forelimbs could reach 3.5 meters. It's also thought to be an omnivore, which could introduce a whole new feed of type to the game, with lizards and stuff like that. But anyways, back to the script. Theonizinosaurus made a small appearance in Jurassic World as one of the dinosaurs used in the Indominus genome. Now the reason why we need this dinosaur is because it's basically a giant turkey. It could be like an exclusive DLC or an update to Jurassic World Evolution on Thanksgiving. Nothing associates Thanksgiving like turkey. But yeah, I'm gonna go get a water bottle because my throat is dead. One eternity later. All right, I'm back. I got my tasty H2O. And I believe I'm on Protoceratops now. I'm not completely sure. But Protoceratops, aka First Hornface, was an early Ceratopsian which lived in Mongolia during the Upper Cretaceous. Unlike most Ceratopsians, it lacked well-developed horns and had some primitive traits that are not seen in later Ceratopsians. It could reach lengths of 1.8 meters, or about the size of a small sheep or sheep. I'm not really sure what kind of sheep. Could be a large sheep, who knows. Protoceratops is relatively new to the Jurassic franchise, making its first appearance in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom as a background uh, skeleton in Lockwood Manor. I'll post a picture up there, but you know, like the scene where they had the Triceratops on one in the middle, and they had the dinosaur skeletons on either side. Either side, not sure what third was, but yeah, it's in the background. You can see it. It's one of the smaller statues. But coming in in last place is Enosaurus. This dinosaur has slowly been rising on my uh, favorite dinosaurs, so I just thought, hell, why not include it? Because it did appear in Jurassic franchise technically in some concept art, as we'll discuss later. But Enosaurus was a centrosaurian ceratopsian dinosaur that was found in northwestern Mon Montana during the Upper Cretaceous. Enosaurus, what a surprise, found in Montana and is represented by 15 different specimens of varying ages. It could reach lengths of 6 meters and made a small cameo in Jurassic World off Fallen Kingdom as some concept art, but later Colin Trevelo did confirm that he had no plans of adding it into the movie. Which is unfortunate because who doesn't love some good variety in our ceratopsians? Just look how beautiful they are. 
But anyways, I added this dinosaur, I already said that, so yeah. Uh, hopefully it'll make an appearance later on, yeah, I have high hopes it will, I mean, he did... You have to consider adding it, because the concept though, it's usually make it into the movie most of the time. So you have to consider, someone had to ask him if he wanted to include it. So, maybe we'll make an appearance in the next one, hopefully it will. We need more variety in our set of top scenes, on, in the Jurassic movies at least, I mean, there's plenty in the game. But it would also be nice to have this one in the game, because it's truly unique. But anyways, I think I'm going to end it off here. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next one. Goodbye.